I'm trying a new cafe today. I got a matcha. It looks a little pale, but I want to try it. I rate that matcha like a 6 out of 10. I also got a little macaroon. It's a teddy bear. It's so cute. Kind of matches me. I'm like wearing gray too. Guys, it's so amazing. It tastes exactly like an Earl Grey. Like the tea. It's very fragrant and I love it. I rate the matcha a 6 out of 10. And I rate this macaroon a 9 out of 10. Can I for you? Hello! It was my first time going. It was actually cute, but I don't know. It's cute, but like... I don't love the spot specifically because the matcha wasn't that great but like aesthetically it was very cute very cutesy I journaled for a bit and then went on Pinterest after I went to my favorite stationery store and I bought some pens <laughs> I'm gonna show you the pens I bought they're so cute I was in the area I was like one minute walk away from the store so I had to go see now I want to go find a bodysuit I'm on the hunt for like a deep neck bodysuit um so i don't know where i'm gonna find that i can only think of like a ritzy and garage if i can't find anything at those two stores i quit it's too cold for me to just be walking around trying to figure things out i'd rather stay home order online you know there's a cop behind me and i feel so like looked at and like i want to go on my phone i'm at a red light you know i want to like put some music on but i can't do it I completely forgot it was Black Friday today. It was so busy, like there was no way I was filming in there. But I ended up finding something at Garage. They had a sale of like buy one, get one 50% off. I tried Aritzia, they didn't have like a plunge bodysuit with like thin straps or like tank top straps. But I found what I wanted at Garage, top form. So I still would love a bodysuit, but this is perfect also, just a nice piece to have. It's like a deep v-neck. You really can't see it on camera because it's black on black. But since it was like buy one, get something for 50% off, I got it in white. Good basics. I love buying basics. They're just so essential. And then I wanted to show you my pens, remember? I'm very excited about these. So obviously I picked up a new highlighter. This is like a yellow one. It's like yellow green. And then I got two little pens. I've never tried these, but they're like felt tip pens. And I got two. I got one in like orchid, one in teal. Oh, I'm so excited to use these. Nothing gets me more excited than pens. Like, how nerdy am I? Last thing I got today are these tights. That's my little haul. I didn't get a chance to try on the tops because it was, like, packed. Packed. Let me try it on. I got it extra small because I want it to be, like, super tight. Look. This is a cute top. I got hella deodorant stains on it, though, but... It's, like, a good basic. It doesn't really look v-neck though it looks like more round neck maybe because it's too tight now it's time to do chores i need to do well first of all i need to fold all my laundry and then i need to do my dishes so let me do that now actually before i like sit down and get too comfortable to get up <laughs> hello today is november 3rd 2024 just went to tnt because I was really craving some like rice cakes or mochi or just something like squishy and rice based. I don't know. I got a mix of, I think it's like banana flavored, mango flavored, and green tea. I also got my favorite peach tea drink. I might drink this later. I don't want to have it now. But I do want to try this right now. Look how good it looks. I haven't had like mochi or anything in a long time. And I just like... Sometimes I crave the texture, you know? It's squishy. It smells like mango. Hmm. I don't like this. Mm -mm. It's so like artificially flavored. Okay, wait, let me try the green tea one. Mm. And they're not that fresh. Oh. Ooh. What does the banana taste like? Banana one is disgusting. This didn't really like satiate, satiate? This didn't satiate my cravings at all. Cause they're, they're, they're not good. They look so misleading. But the good thing about leave, living alone, I could put this right here after I bit it. 
come back to it later. It's not a problem. It's too cold for me to even like want to leave my house. So there's no way I'm gonna leave my house today. Like before my lash appointment. I'll leave for my lash appointment and then maybe we'll go have dinner together. I've been craving like Korean barbecue and I'm down to go. Okay, I'm about to leave for my lash appointment. I'm wearing my fur jacket and the top I bought yesterday from Garage. I layered it with this little bralette from Tank Air. It's not a bralette, it's like a little, little tiny top. Jeans from Uniqlo. Don't even mind my bed, like, I don't know what's going on with it. That's the fit, I also did my hair a little cute. I'm actually on time, go me. I've never had a lash appointment this late, like 4 p.m. Usually I go right in the morning, so I'm tired enough and I can sleep. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take a nap this time. If I don't take a nap, I'm, it's gonna be torture. Like I can't sit still for two hours. Not even open my eyes for two hours. Oh. I just don't get how there's traffic every day. Every day. I'm trying to think of where I wanna go to eat after I do my lashes, like what do I wanna do? What does Allison, what am I feeling? Sushi, no. What are the vibes today? Okay, let's listen to this. I made it on time. It's 3.57. I found parking pretty quickly actually. There was a spot waiting for me. Perfect timing. I really want to do like nice wispy lashes but like thick. Hope they come out like that. These are pretty, very pretty. Wait, what is this one? <laughs> it dropped. Maybe just soap. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> just okay. I, I love these. Actual very long lashes. Yeah. Okay. Back to you show. Thank you. Okay. She killed it this time. The last few times we were having like issues like we weren't on the same page about the lashes but like this time they're perfect they're exactly what i envision in my head so i'm happy about that now i need to find a place to eat like i don't know where i want to go eat i think i'm gonna go in my car and like figure out where i should go let's see let's see because i really want like korean food korean barbecue or like rice and meat like i need that that's what i want i don't want to have like noodles i don't want a burger i don't want pizza so I'm narrowing it down to just like Asian food. So I feel so pretty. Like these are way longer than my last set and I feel the heaviness and I could see them too. And it makes me feel pretty, I don't know. <laughs> Long lashes make me feel beautiful. I'm gonna call them. I don't know if they're all you can eat. The only table we have is they're only at 9.45 uh, earliest. Damn it, who wants to eat dinner at 9.45? <laughs> Not me, but that was gonna be a perfect spot. Dal Dongne. She told me how to pronounce it upstairs. Dal 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 Dongne. My table is ready. I ended up going to a spot and they put me on the waiting list. I only waited like 10 minutes, so that's fire. I've been to this place before, it's a Korean barbecue spot and they have a lot of side dishes, so I'm excited. Guys, I thought I thought I made it without making a stain on my clothes, but I just spilt all of it on me. That was like a pretty short dinner. My whole life, I've always been like this, where I can't eat the last bite of my food, and it's it's like I actually can't eat it. Like I will throw up if I eat the last bite. So my whole life, I've always left the last bite, and obviously I had to take it to go because there's no way I was gonna leave everything there. I just like got so tired of the taste, like I couldn't keep eating it. I'll eat it later. I just couldn't eat it right now. And there was no way that was gonna happen. I messed up my shirt, but at least I ate good. It's not that bad, is it? 
I'm gonna put on some OxyClean right away. Stain remover actually works. If you do it early enough, it works really well. Hi. Okay, so it's it's 3.46 p.m. I took my nails off and I filed them. I also cut my cuticles, whatever. And now I just need to apply my tips, put on some color, you know, the, the fun part. I actually liked the set I did last time, so I think I kind of want to either redo the same set or just keep the same length and shape. Um, I use the, what are these? I'm going to use the Natural Round Medium Tips by Gel X. I really loved the, the length I had last time. I did shorter. Usually I wear long. It's 4.44, I finished application, my nails are on, I also painted the underside so that it wouldn't be sticky, and now I need to file, but I want to eat, so like should I eat before I file or after? No, I'll file first, okay, let me file, and then I'll eat after. And I filed all my nails. They look really cute. But before I paint, I need to eat. I am so hungry. I want to have the leftover Korean food I had yesterday. I might be hungry again in like two hours, but that's okay. Speaking about Korean food, last night after I put on the OxyClean, I washed my shirt by hand. I haven't looked at it yet. I'm kind of nervous, but... I mean, it's so wrinkly. Can you see the stain anymore? A little bit, like over here, I think you can see it. That's so fire. Yay. 6.31, I finished one hand. I have one hand left to go and I need to finish in like 30 minutes. So I have to hurry up. I have to hurry up. I've got 30 minutes before I need to start getting ready. So, I mean, I guess I could push it. I don't think it's gonna take me a whole hour to get ready. Focus up, we need to focus up.
Just finished and now I have to hurry up and get ready. My god, such a stressful day. I have to hurry up and get ready because I'm gonna go watch Wicked. Okay, I'm ready. The lighting is so weird in here, but I'm wearing sweats from Motel Rocks. My sweater from Yeezy. This jacket from Bershka. My hair is in cute little pigtails. I always sneak food into the theater, so I'm bringing chips. I'm probably gonna stop by the gas station and get something else too. Morning. Hi, people. I wanna make some avocado toast for breakfast. I've been loving avocado toast. It's like I go through a period of time where I forget that it exists and then I remember again. It's 12.22 and I have to go get an oil change. Love that. And then after that, I want to edit at a cafe, but I think I'm going to go to a far cafe because they have a pandan matcha. Mm, I need that. I'm using this bread. This is such good bread. I really like it gluten-free brown rice bread very yummy avocado toast is so easy to make but i watched wicked yesterday wicked was so good i really liked it actually i mean it wasn't as sad as i thought it was gonna be like everyone was crying and like i saw so many clips of people crying saying like oh my god it's so emotional and i just i didn't find that it was like that serious like worthy enough for me to cry i didn't really cry but i thought i was gonna i really did Production was so good, like you could tell they spent a lot of time and money on that. That's so pretty. One thing I don't like is a cold avocado for avocado toast. I, I really, I just can't. I always remove my avocado from the fridge like an hour before I actually make my toast. <laughs> because there's no way. I don't know why it bothers me so much, but like something about a cold avocado on a hot toast is just so wrong i want to go to cafe kuya which is a like a filipino fusion cafe like it's modernized filipino food and oh my god <clears throat> i've been there before with y'all but last time i was there i got a ube matcha and their ube matcha is amazing but when i was there they told me that they have a pandan matcha and i i'm sorry a pandan matcha hey mashed avocado I'm gonna add salt and pepper. Yeah, so last time I was there, I, I said I was gonna wait till next time to buy that matcha. And today is next time. If you don't know what pandan is, I don't know how to help you. Like, very much an Asian flavor, and I can't explain that. A lot of people don't know what ube is or what pandan is, and it's just very funny, because like to me, it's so normal. Like, what does it taste like? Like ube, there's no, there's no equivalent. I could say taro and then they're like, what's taro? Okay, well, final step of my avocado toast is putting olive oil, a little drizzle of olive oil. Mm -mm -mm. I kind of have to eat quickly because I have to leave nine minutes. I started watching this show, oh my God. It's called the Madness. I'm on episode two and I've never been more frustrated with a show in my life. This like black guy found a body. Turns out it's like a white supremacist and now they're framing him. And I'm just so frustrated <laughs> because no one believes that he's innocent. And I just, ooh. Mm, little, I'm just very frustrated watching this. It's, it's getting my emotions up. Hi, having a car is so expensive. <laughs> Very blessed, obviously, but guess how much that oil change ran me? Just an oil change. $197. 200 bucks. I really love that for me. My God, pray, pray for me that nothing else happens to my car. Cause, no thank you. I got this. This I really love, but I removed the pineapples because I don't like pineapples. And then I also got the buko because I love buko pie. And then the last thing I got is a matcha, a pandan matcha, obviously. <laughs> I kind of bought a lot because I don't come here often. It's like kind of far from where I live. So when I'm here, I buy stuff. Low key, I'm kind of dumb because I thought I was going to be able to study here for like study. I don't study. But I was, I was kind of thinking that I would be here for a few hours, but they close at 4. And it's 
2.45. Yeah. Mmm, that's good. It really just tastes like pandan and I love pandan. Honestly, I think the ube is better. I'm more of a ube person than a pandan person. Guys, my hair is getting so long. Are you proud of me? Like, soon it's gonna be to my ass. Yeah, I'm so excited. <sighs> yummy. Yummy, yummy with my matcha. I wanted to show you the buko pie. It's basically just like coconut pie. And it's so bomb. So bomb. I'm gonna take a... I'm gonna take a bite. I wanna save it for like later or maybe tomorrow, but that's a huge slice. But I know this is good. I've had it before. Look, coconut. Mm. Oh my god. That's like better than I remember it. Oh my god. So good. Now I have to edit. This is such an unfortunate, like, this is like the worst day to find a show I'm obsessing over. When I obsess over a show, like, I'll sit there and binge watch the entire show in like one day. I want to watch, but I also want to edit. I'll figure it out. Have a great day. Bye, loves. I love you too. I need to edit.